What we're looking at today is a very DIY approach on how to restore old car and truck panels. And I know I'm probably gonna catch some heat for this, but let's just have fun and take a look at how I use RedGuard to fix old decaying and dying door panels like this one from my 1984 F-150 Bullnose. So, I had some RedGuard left over from a job. RedGuard is a paintable, waterproofing membrane often used for substrates and showers. And in this application, I wanted to see if it would lock in this polystyrene decaying foam plastic on my truck door panels because I'm super cheap. I didn't want to buy new ones for this old truck. So I'm just painting it on with a chip brush uh, following the recommendations of the manufacturer, which is just saying apply a minimum of two coats, I think. Uh, and I, I don't need this to be waterproof, but I need it to stop flaking on me because it, it was a very itchy affair and you could literally just scrape holes in this thing. So after I got two coats on, you know it's dry when it goes from pink to red. I skim coated it with some automotive body filler, two part catalyst, AKA Bondo. And I wanted to minimally sand what was going on uh, with the grooves without dishing it. So I put a foam backer on my Rotex 150 EQ, popped on dust control and gently sanded to the contours without you know, trying to take out too much material or burn through the red guard. If anybody has attempted to sand this, it's a lot like sanding very low grade latex paint, meaning it gets gummy and burns up and destroys your pads and your happiness. So after that, I actually experimented yet again by getting the new Rust-Oleum like, exterior fabric spray paint. Which to be honest, I'm not so, so sure I trust in the long term, but for the short term, uh, it was great. It's almost like a velvety feel and it, it kept all the definition from the fake sewing lines on this plastic product and it made it look better than it was. So give it a try. Um, I'll update you six months from now to see the longevity of it, but in my opinion, this is a great DIY hack to fix truck panels, especially if you don't want to spend money on a truck not worth very much.